in the third part of the phrasal verbs we had finished a close up today we'll continue with come across come across or upon means find a chance when i was looking for my passport i came across these old photographs that means i found it by chance then come along or come with me or accompany me come on is often said to someone who is hesitating or delaying so come on we'll um, come on or come along we will be late so you use it for first for a person whom you wish whom uh, you, um, that person whom you, you wish that that person should accompany you but since you see that that person is delaying or hesitating you asked him to ask him to come on or come along now come away or leave that is with me come away now it's time to go home that is leave but with me so not only leave leave with me so come away come away or off is detach itself when i picked up the teapot the handle come came away in my hand one more thing you have to remember suppose there are a uh, few hints provided uh, uh, the hints are usually provided uh, and there are, there are times when you have to change the tense of tense and then use it in your sentence so you should be very careful about that just don't find the word and put it in the blank space change the tense as required now here is came away in my hand so when i picked up the teapot the handle came away it detached itself then come in or come into means enter someone knocked at my door and i said come in that means enter come into the garden or come inside enter the garden then come off in transitive succeed of a plan or scheme usually used in the negative so i'm afraid that that scheme of yours won't come off that means it will not succeed used in the negative it needs more capital than you have available then take place happen or arrange when is the wedding coming off that means when is the wedding arranged or taking place when is the wedding coming off that is the answer is next june if we say the duchess was to have opened the bazaar we implied that this plan was made but didn't come off that means it did not take place she arranged to open it but later had to cancel this arrangement okay then end its run of a play or exhibition lady winmere's fan is coming off next week that means it uh, it's ends its run that means it uh, there's a journey or um, maybe it's a play that is or exhibition that is going to end the next week so it's coming off next week you'd better hurry if you want to see it then come out to be revealed to be exposed the subject here is normally the truth or the facts or the whole story the and usually refers to facts which the people concerned were trying to keep hidden so the person who was trying to keep it hidden uh, that fact is going to be revealed especially used for scandals so they decided everybody till uh, they deceive sorry they deceived everybody till they quarreled among themselves then one publicly denounced the other and the whole truth came out means the whole truth was revealed be published of books her new novel will be coming out in time for the christmas sale that means it will be published coming out then or to disappear tomato stains won't usually come out won't usually disappear come around is we uh, till now we did come out then we move to come around you finally accept a previously opposed suggestion that means when you suppose your father at first refused to let us study abroad but he came round it means he later agreed so then to it in the end okay then you come to uh, my house i'll come round after dinner so you come into some uh, visit someone so i'll come to your house then i'll come round after dinner it means i'll come to your house after dinner and tell you the plan come round to that means recover consciousness when we found him he was unconscious but he came round to half an hour and explained that he had been attacked and robbed came round means 
to recover consciousness. Then come up is to rise up to the surface. A diver was an aqualung aqua doesn't with an aqua lung doesn't have to keep coming uh, to keep coming up for air. That means a diver who has aqua lungs and is fitted with such an apparatus, they don't have to come up every time for air. He can stay underwater for quite a long time. Then beads are coming up everywhere. That means they are rising to the surface. To be mentioned, coming up also means to be to be mentioned. The question of the caretaker's wages came up. That means it was mentioned at the last meeting. Then come up, come up with, that means to approach, to come close enough to. A policeman was standing a few yards away. It came to me that, and uh, he came up to me and said, you can't park here. That means came up means approach someone. Then crop up, that is arise, appear unexpectedly or by accident. Uh, an abstract noun, just difficulties or a subject of a pronoun. At first, all sorts of difficulties cropped up. That means all sorts of difficulties arose and delayed us. Later, we learned how to anticipate them. Then, cut down a tree or fell it. If you cut down all the tree, that means you uh, fell trees, you will ruin the land. Then, cut down is to reduce the size or an amount of something. We must cut down expenses. That means we reduce our expense. So we'll be, uh, or we'll be getting into debt. This article is too long, said the editor. Could you cut it down? That means could you brief it? Cut in is to pass one car where there isn't room to do it safely as another car is coming from the opposite direction. So accidents often are often caused by divers cutting in. They try to bypass each other. So they try to cut in. Then cut off or to disconnect or discontinue supply, especially if gas, water, electricity. The company has cut off our electricity supply because we haven't paid our bill. They, uh, they've cut, out, cut off the water, our water supply temporarily because we are repairing one of the main pipes. Then cut someone off to form a barrier between him and safety. We were cut off by the tide and had to be rescued by boats. That means somehow we were separated. The uh, barrier was formed between uh, that person and safety. Then be cut off to be conveniently isolated. You will be completely cut off if you go to live in that village because there is a there is a bus only once a week it means you'll be isolated from the rest you will be completely cut off it means isolated from the rest then cut out so to cut from a piece of cloth or paper a smaller piece of a desired shape so you usually you do it in craft work when i'm making a dress i make the cloth with chalk and then cut it out according to the Thing I need I want to make whatever I want to make I cut the main cloth I chalk it out I mark the uh, I give it a shape and I cut according to the uh, uh, thing I want to make so I cut out the dress and cut the dress out young people often cut out photographs for their of their favorite film stars and stick them in the walls you may find them in their magazines in the magazines and you cut them out and stick it then omit to leave out if you want to get thin, you can cut out sugar. It means you can omit sugar, leave out. Be cut out for, be fitted or suited for. His father got him a job in a bank, but it soon became clear that he was not cut out. That means he was not suitable for that kind of work. Or you cut up something into small pieces, like they cut down the tree and cut it up for firewood. So they cut it up, that means they made into, uh, cut, made, uh, Cut down the, they cut down the uh, tree and they cut the uh, piece of wood into smaller pieces for the firewood. Then die away, become gradually fainter till inaudible. They waited till the sound of the guard's footsteps died away. It means it became fainter every with every second and, it, uh, and, there it, and a time came when it wasn't heard any longer. Die down, that is become gradually calmer and finally disappear. When the excitement had died down, that means it had become calmer and finally it went out. When the excitement had died down, the shopkeeper took down their shutters and reopened their shops. Die out is to become extinct. Elephants would die out if men 
could shoot as many as they wished. So die out means becoming extinct. Like elephants would die out if men could shoot as many as they wished. That means they would become extinct. Uh, it then apply of customs, of races, of species of animals. Then do away. With do we do do away with. It is to abolish. The government should do away with the regulations restricting drinking water. Do up, that is redecorate. When I do this room up, I'll paint the walls green. That means when I'll redecorate this room, I'll paint the walls with a, uh, with a certain color, which is cream, cream color. Do without, that is to manage in the absence of a person or a thing. You have to manage. We had to do without petrol during the fuel crisis. That means we have to, have to manage without using petrol. The object was sometimes understood, it's sometimes understood, but not mentioned. If there isn't any milk, we'll have to do without it. It means without milk. So the ob uh, so here the object sometimes understood. It is not mentioned at all. It means actually it's referring to milk. Then withdraw we have draw back, retire or recoil. It's too late to draw back now. The plans are all made. To draw up that is to make a written plan agreement. My solicitor drew up the lease and we both signed it to make a written plan and to draw up in transitive use is to stop. The car drew up at the curb and the driver got, up, got out. So it means to stop, stopped at the curb and the driver got out. Then we have drop in, drop, drop in and drop out. Drop in makes means a pay a short unaccustomed visit. He dropped in for a few minutes to ask. If he could borrow your power drill, drop in is more colloquial than call in. Now drop out is to withdraw, retire from a scheme or a plan. We plan to hire a coach for the excursion, but now so many people have dropped out. That means so many people have withdrawn the scheme or the plan they had previously decided upon that they had to uh, they think they would not continue with it. So we plan to hire a coach for the excursion, but now so many people have dropped out that we will not that it will not be needed. It means the coach. Now enter. With enter, we have enter for to become a candidate in a contest or an examination. Twelve thousand competitors have entered for the next London Marathon. We have fade away, that means disappear. Gradually fainter. It become to become fainter, usually of sounds. The band moved on and the music faded away. Then with fall, we have fall back, means withdraw, retreat, usually used in the case of a battle. The enemy advanced and we fell back. We withdrew. We, we decided to retreat. Ah, because maybe the enemy, the numbers, they were they were approaching greater numbers. So the and we did not have the advantage to win. So naturally, they were asked to fall back. Now fall back. On, that means to use in the absence of something better. We had to fall back on dried milk as fresh milk wasn't available. So you had to make use of dried milk instead of fresh milk because it, it was fresh milk wasn't available. So fall back on is to use something in the absence of something better. He fell back on the old argument that if you educate women, they won't, they, they won't be such good wives and mothers. So old argument that if you don't educate, that if you educate women, they might not be as good uh, as good a wife or and mother. Fall behind, that means to slip into the rear through inability to keep up with the others. That is, at the beginning of the whole party, kept together. But at the end of the day, those who were less fit had fallen behind. That means they could not keep, uh, keep up with the uh, rest of the people. So they had fallen behind. He fell behind with his rent. That means he could not pay the rent. And the landlord became quite impatient. That means the person could not pay the rent at the correct time. And therefore he had fallen behind. So he fell behind with his rent. Now, in fall in with someone's plans, accept, accept them and agree to cooperate. We'd better fall in with his suggestion. You have to make sure how to use it what prepositions to use after it so we better fall in with his suggestion for the sake of peace that means we have to agree because we want peace 
fall in that means of troops get into line it means form a line so fall in is usually used use of troops then fall out again use of troops leave the lines the troops fell in and were inspected after the parade they fell out and went back to their barracks that means uh, they they uh, first they formed a line and then they left it a fall off that is a decrease of number or attendance orders have been falling off lately that means they have decreased in number we need a new advertising uh, advertising uh, campaign if the price of seats go up goes up much more theater attendances will begin begin to fall off that means theater attendances the if the price of the tickets will go up the attendance in the theaters will naturally decrease that means it will fall off fall on that is to attack violently the victim had uh, normally no chance to defend himself as the attackers are too strong it is also sometimes used of hungry men who attack their food when they get it so the mob fell on the killers and clubbed them to death that means they attacked violently and these of people who are hungry the starving men fell on the food that means they devoured it now fall out is to quarrel when thieves fall out honest men get their own that is um, proverb get back their own property so the thieves fall out means they when the thieves quarrel the honest men get back their property fall through that is to fail to materialize suppose you've made a plan and it failed for, to materialize so we say it's fallen through so my plans to go to greece fell through that means it it uh, i couldn't keep a uh, like execute my plan because the journey turned out to be much more expensive than i had expected feed that uh, to be fed up to be uh, to fed up be fed up be fed up with uh, that is be completely bored usually uses slang i'm fed up with this wet weather i'm fed up with waiting i'm going home that means i'm completely bored of waiting i'm completely bored because of this wet weather now feel up to that means feel strong enough to do something i don't feel up to tidying the kitchen now that means i'm very tired and i don't feel like i don't feel strong enough to tidy it up i'll do it in the morning i don't feel up to it i don't feel up to it i won't do it because i don't feel strong enough then fill in or up that is a com to complete a form i had to fill in three forms to get my new passport then find out discover as a result of conscious effort that means in the end i found out that means i put in a lot of effort and therefore in the end i found out what was wrong with my high five the dog found out the way to open the door find someone out find that he has been doing something wrong this discovery is usually surprised because the person has been trusted so under all these circumstances you use find someone out you trust a person and that person is up to something uh, up to some mischief or is doing something wrong and you suddenly come to know as a surprise and when you come to know it's kind of kind of a surprise to you because you did not expect that from him or her so after robbing the till for months the cashier was found out fix up or to arrange the club has already fixed up several matches for next season fix several matches up then get about to circulate move or travel in a general sense the news got out about that he had won the first prize in the state uh, lottery and the news got out it means it uh, became it everyone came to know about it it circulated he is a semi invalid now but i can't get about as well as he used to that means um, travel in a general sense i can't get uh, he semi invalid now and he can't semi invalid means that means because of some problem he could he has uh, become invalid and therefore it is difficult for him to get about that's to move about then get away escape to feel to leave don't ask him how he is because if he starts talking about his health you never get away with him that means never escape at least he's a big chatterbox so i had a lot to do in the office and didn't get away till 8 o'clock that means i could not escape till 8 o'clock now get away with is to perform some illegal or wrong act without being punished usually without even being caught 
So he began forging checks and at first he got away with it. But in the end, he had uh, he was caught and sent to prison. That means he got away with uh, for after he uh, he used to forge checks and he got away with it. That means he was not even caught and being punished is, is a different thing altogether. But later he was caught and sent to prison. Get back is to recover or possess possession of. If you lend him a book, he'll lend it to someone else and you'll never get it back. You'll never recover possession of that book. Get back is to reach home again. We spent the whole day in the hills and didn't get back till dark. So that means did not reach home till dark. Get off, be acquitted or receive no punishment. That is uh, um, compared with get away with similarly, which implies that the offender is not even caught. He was tried for theft but got off because... There wasn't sufficient evidence against him. He was acquitted. And the boy had to appear before a magistrate, but he got off as it was his first offence. That means he received no punishment. Be that being his first offence. Get on is to get on with, to make progress, be successful. How is he getting on at school? What is his progress in school? So we can say, how is he getting on his, at school? He is getting on very well with his English. Then live or work, etc. That get on also means live or work amicably with someone. He is a pleasant, friend, present, friendly man who gets on well with nearly everybody. That means that person is quite amicable and can get along with anyone. How, how are you and Mr. Pitt getting on? How are both of you coping? Now get out, that is escape from or to leave an enclosed place. Don't worry about the snake. It's in a box. It can't get out. It's in an enclosed place. Here it's a box and it can't get out. News of the budget got out before it was officially announced. That means got out of the uh, maybe of the of the of the office where it should have stayed. I'm so busy that I couldn't very often get out. Here get out means of the house. No they that the imperative get out, except when it means descend from a vehicle is very rude. So when it means descend from vehicle, means get out of the vehicle. That means you will descend from a vehicle. Except for that, get out using using get out is quite rude. Now get out of is free oneself from an obligation or habit. I said that I uh, that I uh, I'd help him. Now I don't want to, but I can't get out of it. I said I'd help him now that I won't. I don't want to, but I can't get out with it. That means I can't free myself from the obligation that I had promised someone that I would help him. And now I couldn't get out of it. I couldn't free myself from the promise. He says that he smokes too much, but he can't get out of the habit. Some people live abroad to get out of paying heavy taxes. Okay. Get over, recover from. It is getting over a bad, he's getting over a very bad heart attack. That means he's recovering. I can't get over her leaving her husband like that. It means I haven't recovered from the surprise. I was quite astonished that she could leave her husband like that. He used to be afraid of heights, but he was, he has got over that now. That is, uh, it is usually, it's normally represents something unpleasant, um, the object is usually it and which normally represents something unpleasant. Deal with it and get finished with it. That is, if you have to go to the dentist, why not go at once and get it over? That means the fact that you have to go to the dentist and you have to take out your teeth, that is very unpleasant. It's a very painful experience. So why don't you go at once and get over it? Okay. Then, therefore, it's said that the object is usually it. Be careful not to confuse with get over it, which is quite different. Get round a person. Coax him into letting you do what you want. Girls can't usually get round their father. That means they cannot coax their father into letting you do what you wish to. So they can't get around, get round their fathers. Get round with difficult, difficulty or regulation. That is to find some solution to evade it. If we charge people for admission, we will have to pay entertainment tax on our receipts. But we can get around this regulation. That means we can evade this regulation by saying that we are charging not for admission, but for refreshments. 
money paid for refreshments is not taxed. So get through, that is to finish a meal, piece of work or finish something successfully. He got through his exams, all right, means he passed it. Then get through, get into telephone or communication. I'm trying to call London, but I can't get through. Get up to organize. They got up a concert in aid of cancer research. Get up to rise in bed, tries to feel one's feet. I get up at 7 o'clock every morning. That is, I get up. That means I rise from bed. Give. We have so many with give. Give away. That is to give to someone. I'll give this coat away. Then give someone away. An object before. Uh, or an object before away. That is to betray him. When you give someone away, you betray a person's trust. He said that he was not an American. But his accent gave him away. That means... His accent said, his accent betrayed him. It said that he was an American, which he said he wasn't. Now, so his accent betrayed him. Now, give back is to restore. I must call at the library to give back this book. That means I want to give it to the owner. Here, the owner is the library. Give in to yield, cease to resist. At first, I wouldn't let her drive the car, but she was so persuasive. I mean, she keep, kept on saying that I wish to drive the car, I want to drive the car, that I eventually gave in. Now, give out is to announce verbally. They gave out the names of the winners, distribute any, or issue something. The teacher gave out the book, that means they distributed the books. Give out, become exhausted. The champagne gave out long before the end of the reception. That means the champagne was over, it got over. His patient gave out and he slapped the child hard. Now, his patience gave out. It means he was he could no longer uh, keep his uh, be patient enough, and he was very angry with the child, and he slapped him hard. Give it or abandon and tempt. Cease trying to do something. I tried to climb the wall, but after I had failed three times, I gave up. That means I abandoned my uh, uh, my labor. I abandoned the uh, attempt. Now. A really determined person never gives up, never stops trying. Give up or abandon or discontinue a habit or a sport or a study. Have you given up drinking? He gave up cigarettes. He tried to learn Greek but soon got tired of it and gave, give, and gave it up. Then give oneself up is to surrender. He gave himself up to despair. He was called in polls and hungry and after a week on the run. So he gave himself up to the police. These, they surrendered. The first case, he surrendered to despair. The second case, he surrendered to the police. Go ahead. Go ahead is to proceed to continue to lead the, lead the way. It is to proceed to continue to lead the way. While she was away, he went ahead with the work and got a lot, got a lot of lot done. You go ahead and I'll follow. There, there, like this, we have so many other phrasal verbs. We have so many with go. Then we have with grow. Hand down, hand in, hand out, with hang about, hang back, hold off, join in, jump at, keep back, keep down, till, see, you see till, let down, look back, make for, make up, make up or quarrel, make up a story, make up is to use cosmetics, then with miss, then order, pay back, with pick, with point, with put, so many with put. Then we have with ring, rub. Then we have with see, sell, set, settle, shout, sit, stand, stay, take. Then we have with talk, think, tie, try, turn. Then we have with walk, wait, wash, wear, wipe, work. So we have lots more. It is not possible for to go through everything. You, you have the entire list in your uh, book. And I have like uh, gone through this thing and you can just watch the video and try to learn the meanings. If you will learn the meanings, you will know how to use them and where to use them. Just be careful that you use the proper tense when you use it in the blanks. Suppose there'll be, there'll be hints provided and if there isn't, you have to learn everything. Most probably there'll be hints provided, hints are usually provided. So make sure that you 
uh, before putting it into the appropriate blanks you have sometimes there there is a uh, need to change the tense you must be very careful about that read the meal uh, just learn the meanings and see how it is used in a sentence go through it the best way is to practice doing it practice as much as possible and you will be able to do it it's not as difficult as it seems to be